Hey everyone, Joe here. Today I have another DaVinci Resolve tutorial for you and we'll be covering presets within Fairlight. So anyway, before we get started, check out On One Photo Raw. On One Photo Raw gives you control of your photography and what matters to you. On One gives you an open system for complete control over your storage, organization, editing, and method of purchase. On One will also never be a subscription only model. Learn more and download your free trial by clicking the links in the description below. Okay, everybody. So I have DaVinci Resolve opened up here and we are inside Fairlight. Now, as many of you have probably noticed if you're watching this tutorial, if you click on like Equalizer here, there is no way to actually save any like presets within these little dialog boxes. Same goes for like dynamics. There's no way to save anything. The only option that does anything is the reset. Okay, so how do you do it? Well, let's go up here to the Fairlight drop down menu and let's go down to presets library. Okay. So now we have, uh, for example, equalizer presets. Maybe we want to save that one. So let's click on audio one. Maybe that's the equalizer we want to save. Let's click save new. And I'm going to type in tutorial. Okay. So let's click on tutorial. So now that we got that one done, maybe we want to apply it to track two. Okay. So we now can just hit apply. Then that same equalizer preset is applied. Okay. Now perhaps we want to make adjustments. Maybe there's something we want to improve on this one make the audio sound just a little bit better, you know, fine tweaking. And for example, we want to be able to update that. Well, that's pretty easy as well. So now if we click over here in audio two, we click back on tutorial, there's no update button. However, if you click on save new, the dialog box that will pop up will have an update uh, button. You also have the option for create new, update or just cancel. So now we can click update, and we can turn around and apply that one back over here to audio one, hit apply. As you can see, that EQ has been updated as well. Okay. Now, just like the uh, equalizer, you can do the same to the dynamics. For example, audio one here, and you'll save you know, new, crop in tutorial. Since this is a tutorial I'm doing, I'm planning on deleting these when we're done. And click OK. I can now apply that to track two and three. You know, if I want to, click on tutorial, hit apply, and those all get applied. OK. Now, if we want to, say, add, say, like a good dynamic that I would use a lot would be like a vocal rider to keep my audio levels you know, more normalized. And it's a really good one. Check out my demo and review of it. And another one you might want to add is, for example, like a uh, noise reduction here from SPL Dverb. Another pro pl uh, plugin that I use, a VST plugin, to kind of get rid of some audio echo. Now, Vocal Rider, you will notice, does have an option for save and load up here for presets. However, SPL Dverb down here doesn't. Now it's only a two button, you know, really adjustment here, three total, but one's just for out gain. So maybe I do want to put it on like negative six all the time. Maybe I want to adjust the, the dry wet mix to about a good like 70 to 75% here, maybe 80, somewhere in that area. Forget the best sound of it and try to eliminate any kind of like wall echo reverb I got coming in my mic. Okay. So there's no way to save that one. There really isn't. <laughs> so how do we save that? Well, if we go click here to plugin presets, we, for example, we want the plugins off audio track one, click save new and type in tutorial, type in tutorial. Boom. Now we get that done. So now we can click on tutorial and we can apply that to audio track two and three. And there we go. Got those all applied. Okay. So maybe we don't want to have to go in and apply the EQ, the dynamics and our VST effects 
you know, three different steps for each track. Maybe we, want, we don't want to do that. We just want to have it per track. Okay. So let's go down here to global track presets. Now, I do want to mention there is a global bus presets and a global track. So those are essentially the same thing. They do the same thing. Just one's for bus, the other's for uh, tracks. Okay. So I want to click on audio one here and I want to save news, type in tutorial. Click OK. Now, for example, audio track four over here has nothing on it. Click on tutorial. Hit apply. Now everything that we've done on the other tracks is now applied to audio track four. Okay. So that's really good. That's really helpful. Okay. But maybe you want to come in and cl click just one preset to set everything up the way you normally want it set up. Okay. Let me show you how to do that. But first, let me clean everything out of the other tracks. Okay, everybody. So I thought I would actually show you what I normally have set up for all my default, for my tutorials and stuff. For example, the video that you're watching today. Now, I have uh, four audio tracks here, A1 through A4, my main stereo out track, and a sub bus track right here that I use because, let's face it, you can only have six <laughs> uh, actual uh, VSD plugins on one of you know one a channel at a time, one track. So to get more without having to purchase a container. I just run over to a sub bus over here for four more. Alrighty. So anyway, that's why I have a sub bus over there, but let's get back to talking about the presets. This is why I use it all the time. And this is the same settings I want to use in all my videos. Every time the same exact layout this is the way I want it every time for complete consistency throughout all my videos. So to save that, go to Fairlight presets library go to filter by full console presets save new and I'll type in tutorial for that name also click OK and we're done okay so let me click over here to timeline number two all right now we'll notice there is no sub bus that's fine however do remember we had four audio tracks when we saved it a while ago if you tried to apply that preset that we just saved, which had four audio tracks saved in it, to a timeline with only three audio tracks, or you know, uh, audio tracks that you've already put some settings and stuff into, DaVinci Resolve is probably going to crash. It's a huge bug in DaVinci Resolve at the time I'm making this video. It's freaking annoying. I hope that magic fixes that. So just keep in mind if you save your, your uh, full console preset that you want to use. And you try to apply it to any other timeline that doesn't have, you know, all the audio tracks in it, or it may have some that's already been, you know, changed or modified. It may crash. All right. Now you'll notice mine says audio one, audio two, audio three, audio four. However, let's go to Fairlight. I want to show you because it even saves your uh, these track names. Go to our presets library. We just did the tutorial one. Hit apply, and you have to give it a second here. And it applied them all. See, it's my desktop, advert, music. So those are the labels for my tracks. If we slide it over, we can even see my sub bus is now here. So it will add the sub bus, but it will not add uh, any tracks that are missing. Don't ask me why. Blackmagic needs to address that. So yeah, I just want to point that out in case anybody's running any kind of bugs or DaVinci <laughs> Resolve starts crashing when they try to apply the you know, the, uh, what got the full, uh, full console presets. Yeah. You try to apply those and it crashes, you know why. So it may be good to save your individual tracks and just in case you want to add more tracks later and just use that full console preset for when you're starting up a new project, which is what I use it for. Okay, everyone. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. Now, if you want to help support this channel, how about checking out On One Photo Raw? As I'm affiliate with On One and purchasing On One Photo Raw does help support this channel. Now, if you like this video, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel yet, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is free, it's for you, it lets you know I release more videos. Until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.